In this video, we're going to take a look at the transform nodes in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Machinery 01.C4DC. So let's select this uh, metal material right here. And let's zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to create an image texture. And let's open up the browser. And I'm going to choose this panel 06 diffuse. Let's copy it into the project and plug it into the diffuse channel. And let's reload here. Let's also plug it into specular. Since this is a metal material, we're not going to see anything update until we do that. And then I'm going to select this material. Let's go into IOR mode and just set this to artistic so we can clearly see the texture on the surface and zoom in a little bit. So the texture by default is mapped based on the UVs. So if I select the texture here, you can see there's a couple ways that we can get a transform node connected. We can click on a UV transform right here, and this allows us to go down here and actually do things like we can rotate. Actually, the rotate Z is the only one that's going to work in, in this case because it's 2D texture, but we can rotate it around the Z axis. Let's hit reset there. We can also scale, of course. By default, the lock aspect ratio is on, so all of these scale together. If I turn this off, then I can scale along one axis. Let's reset that, and of course, we also have translation, so we can move the texture around. That's all pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to create a transform uh, node right here. Let's disconnect this one. Connect this new one. And just take a look at the other types. So we can go to type here. We have 2D transformation, which works great for textures. It pretty much has the same attributes. You also have 3D rotation. Again, since this is a 2D texture, the only one that's going to work is the Z rotation, but let's say for instance, let's create a um, let's say a noise texture and let's plug this into diffuse and specular, and then we'll create a new transform. Put this into transformation. Let's set this to um, 3D rotation. Now you can see that since this is a procedural texture that's actually being projected in 3D space, I can use any axis of rotation here, which will work. Let's come back to this texture right here. And we have 3D scale. We're scaling the texture. 3D transformation, which is an awful lot like 2D transformation in this case, in terms of the attributes that are available. You can also, of course, set the order X, Y, Z as the default, but we also have X, Z, Y, Y, X, Z, and so on. And then we have the default transform value. So this transformation, pretty straightforward, just a way to manipulate the textures that are projected onto your surface. And of course, you can use this with projection nodes, which we'll cover in the next video.